What should he do? Seems odd to see this in a Greenbrier, Arkansas elementary school. It's not a tornado drill, but an earthquake drill. Keep your head covered and hold on tight. Since last September, nearly 1,200 small earthquakes have sent daily jolts through a rural area north of Little Rock. The shaking caught on surveillance tape, so you'll have to excuse folks around here for feeling a little edgy. If the earthquakes continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger, it's going to be people's homes ruined and possibly people's lives. So where are we going here, Scott? We're going right out there to that seismic station. State geologist Scott Osbrook says natural gas injection wells could be the culprit. The wells shoot wastewater from natural gas drilling wells deep into the earth. And since there are fault lines that run through the area, the pressurized injections could be disturbing already unstable ground. Small earthquakes have always been common here, but not this many. These wells went online, then the earthquakes definitely went up in, in number and, and uh, size earthquakes. I get the sense that you think this is much more than just a coincidence, though. If, there, if, <laughs> if there's not uh, some sort of uh, causal relationship, it will be an extraordinary coincidence. Geologists say this time-lapse map that I'm about to show you is the most compelling evidence of a connection between the injection wells and the earthquakes. Each of these red circles that you see here represents an injection well, and this is the fault line that runs through the area. Now we're going to get the time-lapse moving, and watch each of these dots that starts popping up. They represent an earthquake that's been recorded in the last year. And now watch how this entire cluster is located between the injection wells. The natural gas companies deny the injection wells are causing more earthquakes. One company says there's a rush to find a villain. The companies say the quakes occur naturally in an area with a long history of seismic activity. In March, a moratorium was put in place on a 576 square mile area, and geologists say the number of quakes is already slowing down. But state oil and gas regulators say they don't see a clear link yet. The better question is whether they're being induced or enhanced in any, in any way by the injection operations in one or both of these two wells. The strongest earthquake so far registered a 4.7, the strongest in 35 years. The fear is they'll keep getting stronger and rattle more than just people's nerves. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Greenbrier, Arkansas.